Welcome back to Schmidt's Off-Road. Today, we're doing an install video. And not just any install video, this is gonna be a maintenance video. So over here, we've got some wheel bearings. Not just any wheel bearings, kryptonite wheel bearings. If you guys have heard of kryptonite, they are probably the top company that produces wheel bearings for side-by-sides. And they also have a lot of steering products as well. Very nice quality stuff. But we're basically gonna be swapping them out on this Pro XP and it might not need it necessarily, but the last time I was gonna do maintenance on my wheel bearings, I was using a wheel bearing greaser and I screwed something up and it pulled the bearing apart. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna swap them all out. We have a big Colorado trip coming up this year. So I wanna make sure I have the top of the line bearings so I don't have any issues out there on the trail. And these kryptonite bearings are gonna be the answer. I also have this guy. It is their wheel bearing tool that they developed. I'll show you how that works later. And then these are some of the basic stuff, basic tools you're gonna need. I'll kind of flash up here exactly what tools you need, but any kind of press or wheel bearing tool, I highly recommend this. I've seen people use it. It works amazing. Some basic extensions, some sockets. You're gonna need a 30 millimeter for your axle nut, 18 mil, 19, just basic sockets. You're gonna want some thread locker, some anises, and these are all Permatex. You can use whatever brand you want, but Permatex is a very well-known, pretty good brand. You're gonna need some snap ring pliers. And I got this, it's a hub puller. I've never used it before, but I think it's gonna come in very handy when I'm pulling off the hub and then that'll obviously open it up to get the wheel bearing tool in there and get it pulled off. So we're gonna go ahead and start breaking down this Pro XP. It's pretty basic how to basically start. You're gonna pull your wheel off, get your hub taken off and start pulling stuff off from there. So we're gonna go ahead and get going here to get this thing taken apart and show you how to use this wheel bearing tool. Once you got that wheel taken off, you're gonna wanna take your caliper off. And I would suggest doing part of this before you jack the machine up, because this bolt right here is gonna be pretty hard to get to with this radius rod coming in. And then you got this one up here, that one's not too bad to get to. And these are both 15 millimeters. I think I can get, okay, so you, you can get a crescent wrench on there. Um, but if you wanna use a socket, just make sure you do loosen this up before you jack it up. So you're going to want to take those two off that'll pull your caliper off and then once you guys pull this off you're going to want to kind of zip tie it up out of the way just kind of up here i've seen people use a bungee cord around the clutch tube or just on the spring just get it up out of the way so you're not going to be knocking it around and kinking your brake line so i'm going to go ahead and pull those off and then we should be good to take the axle nut off and then pull the hub and Keep rocking and rolling. Well, here I am. Had to take a break from the wheel bearing install video because I lost my 30 millimeter socket. So, not sure how I managed to do that in the span of a couple weeks, but it's gone. So, had to run to Home Depot, get my trusty Husky 30 millimeter, big dog, and had to go by, get me a burg and some fries, cause you know, the side-by-side -side block guys know it best. Burg and fries make the install go much better. So we're gonna eat this up, get back to the house, throw those wheel bearings in there and get this video wrapped up for today. It's Father's Day. All you fathers out there, drop a comment down below. Happy Father's Day to you guys. We'll keep getting these videos out for you. Let me know if there's other videos you want me to do. If there's an install video or if you're local to Kansas, let's get out and ride, baby. Let's go.
Oh, it was going good till it wasn't. Here is the old thing. The other part is still in here. We're trying to use the kryptonite tool to push the rest of it out, but it is jammed in there tight. So we're gonna try to get this one out and then I'll show you guys more how this tool works. But this one was stuck in there good. So it wasn't really a good example to show you how it works. So I'll show you on the next one, but man, that's the Polaris quality bearing. Shoo! That might be up on the table. You ready? Well, it's gonna be a shorter video today than I thought. I was gonna show you guys a lot more detail on what it takes to do this install, but we ran into some issues. These bearings were a lot harder to get out. I don't think they were broke before, but as we were pushing them out, they were definitely broke. This inner race seems to stick to the hub, so it makes it a really big pain in the butt to get off of there. This kryptonite wheel bearing tool is a must though. This thing is very good. It makes pulling them in and out a lot easier, but you're gonna need a good air compressor to make sure you're getting enough pressure on your torque or on your impact gun to get this to really pull in there. It's still pretty tough, but it makes it a lot easier. And if you have a Harbor Freight nearby, avoid their tools. Some stuff might be fine, but uh, snap ring pliers, no go. We broke this hub puller the bigger one held up but yeah little one cooked but it is what it is we were going to do all four corners but just with how big of a pain the back two were we just did those two for today and called it good i ended up messing up one of the kryptonite bearings so i'm going to talk to them and see what they recommend me do with that we just put one of the other ones in there just to get it all back on all four tires good to go um like I said, my wheel bearings weren't really messed up before, but I just kind of wanted the peace of mind of having some good wheel bearings in there. So I would highly suggest you guys check out Kryptonite. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I know I didn't go over everything in this video, so if you have any questions, seriously let me know. Reach out to me on Instagram. I'm on there a lot. But again, that is what it takes for wheel bearings. It's fun. So hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, I didn't wanna leave you guys off without really explaining this wheel bearing tool. So I wanna take a quick second here and show you. So basically what it consists of, this is the main piece. It's got in and out engraved into it. So when you start, you're gonna be obviously pressing the bearing out. So you'll take this part of the press and this will fit perfectly in the outside of your hub and this will obviously be in your bearing kind of like so and then it'll push through obviously you'll have this piece goes into the back side of your hub and then as you press it it's going to press into this piece and eventually all the way through your hub you'll be able to pull that out and your bearing is going to be sitting down in there and then when you're gonna do the reverse of it, you basically flip flop these. So this will go to the outside of your hub. This piece goes to the inside and you're gonna wanna use, make sure the in 
with the arrow is pointing to the inside of your hub. You'll take your bearing, your new one, put it on there, and then you'll press it back into your hub. And once it gets all the way pressed into the hub, you're gonna hear a different noise. It's a pretty consistent noise when you're running the impact. And then once it hits flush with your hub, it'll, it'll make a distinct noise and you'll know it's all the way pressed in there. One thing I do wanna mention though, is before you press this bearing in, you're gonna to wanna to take some anises, and this is what I said earlier in the video. I use the Permatex anises, and you're just gonna run it on the outside of this race of the bearing, and then that'll slide into your hub. Helps a little bit, makes it a little bit easier, but then if you ever have to replace these bearings, it'll make it easier for these to come back out because it won't be seized to your hub. I did want to also show you, so the bearing that I screwed up, it has this little, and if any of you know what this is, comment down below, but it's this little O-ring seal, I guess, but it's like a spring. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the spring part on there, but it's stretchy. And when I went to press this bearing on, it wasn't lined up, or I, I think I forgot anises. And I, I pressed the bearing back out, in order to put anises on it and this inner part of the race came off and then this little spring seal came out with it so i didn't know where that was supposed to go um i need to talk to kryptonite and see what this really does and if that's a crucial part of the bearing i might just keep this as a backup or see if they will warranty it under their lifetime warranty but again if you guys have any questions drop them down in the comment section below and i will be sure to answer them